Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a 6x6 box bag and this is because I have recently put out um, a paper share on my blog. You can find details over there, Poodlestock.co.uk and I have got a whole series of projects that are only using 6x6 pieces of paper because that's the size you get in the paper share. 132 sheets I think it is. £31 um, if you're in the UK, 35 if you're the other four European countries that are part of the Stampin' Up! market. But all the details are on my blog and so I'm going to show you how to make this one here. This is the flower pot um, designer series paper and obviously you need a piece of paper that is 6 by 6 inches which is 15 and oh just over 15 centimetres, 15.25 centimetres, something like that. But you score it at one inch, two and three quarters three and three quarters and five and a half inches which is 2.5, 7, 9.5 and 14 centimetres and then you turn it around and score it again at one inch then at four and a half and then you flip it over and you score it at five and a half which is two and a half, eleven and a half and fourteen centimetres so it's a nice little box this one so fold on your all your score lines and burnish them and I can't see on this particular pattern paper very well, not with the lighting anyway. Very dull day here. You'd never think it was still August, not given the rain that we've got. Okay, just keep folding them. And this is a bag that is great to put little gifts in, maybe some, you know, very posh chocolates. Um, this one at the top that we folded, we scored on the opposite way, that's because you're going to fold it the opposite way. There was a reason, good reason for that, because it's all going to fold together and it's going to pinch up like that. So when you look at the box, let me turn it over so you can see, you've got your thin bit at the top, and then down here you've got a load of score lines in squares and large rectangles, but you want to find the small rectangle over here and get rid of it. Don't want it, don't need it. And then cut up the other three score lines. Okay, and then to put the box together, very simple. You could use snow, you could use fuse, you could use sticky strip. Because it is paper to paper, you can use sticky strip, but I am using fuse today. So, fold those. This is the back, so you fold the two sides in and then the back, and then you fold the front part in. And then when you pinch it closed, it will stop at that score line that you created at the top and then it will stop on this second score line so that is as far as it will go so you put your sweeties in your treats i'm closing it with the new in color pegs which are just gorgeous and these have got uh this has got lost lagoon in which is obviously one of these colors and it's also got tangerine tango and our the orange that's the in color is actually tangelo twist but it's close enough that i'm going to use it anyway so i'm just going to use that peg Clamp it on the top, how cute is that? And then simply, I'm going to use my boho blossoms to punch. So I love it. And this is Tangerine Tango. I've got to keep it correct, but it's also got Blushing Bride in there. I think it's got Garden Green as one of the other colours. Uh, crushed Curry is the yellow, which is the one I've used over here. So take your three flowers, put them on your spongy mat, and then just take the back of your paper piercer, squish into the middle, of all of them and then I've got rhinestones so I'm going to take the biggest one for the largest flower and then a medium size is that a big one? Oh that's a big one as well. Take the medium size one for the medium flower and then a small one for the smallest flower funnily enough and then turn them all over mini glue dots And then just position and obviously you could stamp a sentiment or a greeting if you wanted to um, but for me the pattern of this paper didn't really lend itself to stamping not that you could visually see or read very well so that oh my goodness that's less than five minutes how ridiculous is that <laughs> that was even quicker than I thought that is my six by six paper bag box anyway if you want to know more details about the paper share head over to my blog poodles.co.uk and thank you very much for joining me. Bye.